Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing well and welcome back to Kaya and Albashar where today I am going to be building Kaya village which basically means rock village because it is going to be built into the side of a mountain and then on top of that mountain because I want some more history to Kaya and Albashar I also built a ruined watchtower just so that there is this vibe going on that something happened to Kaya and Albashar before we got to see it and I'm going to go more into that history thing later on. But, well, there are two noteworthy things. Well, one noteworthy thing and one that's kind of the usual because, yeah, this is an animal free episode. So I kind of think that's not that noteworthy because, let's face it, in the last episode I completely forgot to talk about the animals. But the actual noteworthy thing about today's episode is that not every building is beige <laughs> so you can already see that with this building but i try to get some more color into the buildings of kian albashar and i just want to clarify this but i never go into building and just think like oh everything is going to be beige that's just something that just happens because i want to keep the buildings of kian albashar looking like they were built with materials from the surrounding area and if you zoom out in kian albashar most of the dirt and rocks are beige slash brownish. But then I also realized people want to be special. People want their homes to reflect them. So there will obviously be like maybe some paint added to the or walls. I wanted to say windows, but no, the windows are going to stay brown. Yeah, that's basically to make it somewhat simpler. I'm color coding Kian Albashar. Because we started off with a green building and green is the royal color of Kian Albashar. So maybe the people in there are a little bit more well to do because it like somewhat associates them with royalty. Or they're just really trying hard. <laughs> but I just thought like alright the green works well because it's the royal color of Kian Albashar. Then we have a red building and well... Yeah, that person just likes the color red. There's no real significance behind that. People want to be special, so I wanted the red building. And then we have a red-ish building. And that's because the dirt in Kian Abishar, or basically the clay in Kian Abishar, it well, it's sort of this red-ish, pinkish tone. So basically, if you see a reddish slash pinkish building, that just means that they're poor. Well, not but that they really built their home out of basically what was on the ground. So yeah, it's somewhat color coding Kian Albashar. But I try to keep it a little bit like natural color still, so that's not like I want to say Barbie pink or banana yellow. Those are the colors that you won't find in Kian Albashar. But like a deep shade of red, I think it's called burgundy, but I don't know for sure. For me, it's just all red, it's just darker red. Or like the green that is in the royal palace or royal color of Kian Albashar. You will find those colors. And maybe some blue-ish as well. But no banana yellow or like a deep shade of purple. I th yeah, at this time purple couldn't actually be made yet. Or at least synthetic or manufactured purple wasn't really a thing. I mean you can see this in a lot of like royal flags. There's not a lot of purple flags because purple was a very expensive color to get. Because, uh, yeah, it, it was only, well, somewhat becoming more available to people around, I think, the Industrial Revolution when, like, they made artificial coloring. So, purple's not a color you're going to get. Pink, definitely not. And banana yellow, yeah, also not. But you're going to probably get like shades of blue, red, and green. And again, if a building is a reddish pinkish tone, that means that it's built out of literally what's built on top of. So that usually means not as well to do. But the entire thing with Kaya Village is actually that it's, well, it's not supposed to be like a wealthy village there are of course some wealthy people in there or at least well to do like middle class people there but the entire idea surrounding kaya village is that it's a village made up of the servants of the royal palace district so servants that 
are not like a high ranking, so the people that are, I think the correct term is below the stairs, like the, I'm just going to say scullery mate, I don't think that was an actual title back then, but like the servants that you wouldn't see, those would be living in Kaya village because they wouldn't be able to live on site, like only the high ranking servants, at least the Kaya Dabashar, are living on site. So that's basically the entire deal with Kaya Village, that they have like a place to live that's near to their, well, place of employment, but that they're still somewhat out of sight, even though this is like right in front of the Queen's Castle and right behind the Royal Palace. I actually make a road up leading up to the Royal Palace, but here I actually made a mistake in building, or at least I thought it would look good, but then I thought like, also like yeah this isn't the right roof but i made a straw roof which in the end i actually replaced with the yeah it's actually called the palm well palm what is it palm leaf roof something that's in the south america pack because straw isn't that well easily found in canal Bashar. and so i thought like i also went actually on a huge pre of like yeah, the Seven Dwarfs Cottage I can't build, but there's an abundance of palm trees, so palm leaf roofing is probably a lot easier to get than straw or thatched. So that's something I changed, I, you can already see it in the next building or the building that I'm building right now, because there's a straw, no straw, palm leaf roof. It's just a lot easier to say straw for some reason. But again, like even if it's a completely based building, which this is, because I mean, let's just say it's not that every building from now on is going to have a color. Some buildings are still going to be completely beige, but I still try to have like multiple shades of beige. And uh, this is also a little bit like, it's a little bit plugging the streams again, but I'm really happy that I choose a Viking slash Nordic area because I can't use beige there. Well, I can, but that's just going to open Pandora's box if I even going to think about that. Also, there was a weird thing with this building because not like in the last creation renovation where I renovated Kane's entrance slash exit gift shop, I kind of went on about like not or the squares that were on the walls to not be completely aligned. Yeah, that, that sort of happened with this building. Nothing is really perfectly aligned, so this is the most frustrating building. Also, I actually went on a little bit of a deep dive on like Arabian architecture around like the, well, the Renaissance period or just before that, just to find out like, all right, what are the things that are actually in or in like the ideal building back then? And a lot of buildings, of course, didn't reach that. Most of the time, only the palaces could reach that ideal. But I found that like some things surrounding some of the windows, actually, that in the first building, there's, well, there's the normal window and then there's like an expansion kind of with this lattice work. And I found out that in some cases, this lattice work was there well it could of course reflect heat and keep out a little bit of scent but it also was a way for women to look out on the street because people watching back then was a well big thing it still is today but uh, yeah it's sometimes just fun to just watch people go about their day but this made it so that the woman could watch out on the street without being seen so that they still had like privacy and it's also like a cultural thing of course and so i tried to have that so if i had like windows that didn't have lattice work in them so these are actually indian doors which i don't think i've ever actually used them as doors but all right uh, if you're going to call them doors i won't ever use them as doors but yeah if the windows don't have that lattice work then i We'll try to have like windows that have that like expansion or like extension to them so that that could still be a thing. Of course, this is not in every building because as I said, most buildings weren't able to reach that ideal. So in most buildings, like the ideal 
And again, correct me if I'm wrong. If I ever say something that is wrong, please do correct me because then we can both learn from it. Also, just a quick note, the apple tree that you just saw, yeah, that's a... Let's just say I deleted it because I didn't like it. So the version that we will get later or that I will show you later is different. But there's like... The ideal is like to also have like a core chart. Most buildings, of course, in bigger cities couldn't reach that because it was just like too cramped in a city. And then there were a lot more ideal things that you want in a building. But of course, because of like situations and such, you can't reach. So it's kind of like, all right, you want a core chart? Well, maybe one out of 10 citizens will have that. It's basically just like, what I think looks correct here, you're going to get. That's most of the things, but I do try to keep in mind like, all right, these features would be there, these features wouldn't be there. And now onto the Ruin Tower, because ever since I renovated Slug's Desert Ruin, I wanted to build a ruin myself. So that's another thing that I love about Creation Renovation. It gives me ideas about what I want to build next. And it gives a little bit of a history to the place. Yeah, I also just wanted a feature on top of the mountain. And I actually kind of went back to old school Khan <laughs> Al-Bashar, where you had these, well, sort of platforms on, well, not on, but going out of the desert. They were basically just flat, well, sort of islands that haven't f started floating yet. But they were like full of water, or at least that's what I said, so they were very lush. So you can actually see that with this mountain, because the top of it is somewhat lush, so where the tower sits is really lush, and there's a lot of like palm trees. Actually, I end up placing a palm tree in this ruined watchtower. And then the surrounding area, where like the, well, the village sits, they actually need a well to survive. The watchtower is situated in a lush place, but then the surrounding mountain is actually very arid. So I want to basically have that also going on, that the floating islands hold a lot of water, but the actual mountains that rise up from the ground of Kian don't actually. So there's some kind of magic going on there. But with this watchtower, as I said, I wanted to implement some history into Kian because I want a storyline to Kian al -Bashar. And I made it so that if you look at where like, well, the tears and the cracks in the building are and where there's like pieces missing, if you then make like a curve going through that crack or going through that hole, you will actually find out that it lines up somewhat perfectly with the Queen's Castle. So I kind of went with the idea, and I did mention this in the previous video, but that all of these floating islands in Khan al -Bashar, yes, now they are unified, but back in, I don't know, before we got to see Khan al -Bashar at least, so I'll, let's just say quite some time in the past, Khan al -Bashar wasn't a unified city. That was just like basically every island for themselves. And basically the Queen's Castle, or I'm just going to say Snow White's father, was at war with the Sultan of Khan al who now rules all of Khan al -Bashar. I just went into this tower thinking like, alright, if there was like a catapult on the Queen's Castle, or well back then it was Snow White's Castle, but now it's the Queen's Castle because Snow White is dead. Or at least in my version of Kian al Snow White is dead. I kind of wanted to make it look like this tower was basically completely ravaged by catapult fire from the Queen's Castle. Which is kind of a strange thing to say because now it's the Queen's Castle but back then it's the Snow White's Castle or at least Snow White's Father's Castle. Yeah, I completely just messed with that fairy tale and in my version it, the Snow White is dead. And maybe, like, I don't want to go too far into Snow White's fairy tale again, but I'm just going to tell my version of it, or at least Carol Bashar's version of it. But it's basically, Snow White's father was still at war with the Sultan. Then the Queen stepped in and ended the war. 
or at least maybe poisoned her husband and ended the war in that way. Snow White didn't like that and tried to rebel against the queen or by then I think the vizier and was murdered because of that or well maybe well had a trial we don't know. I still want to build a grave for Snow White so in a way it's like redeeming the evil queen but also not really because he might have poisoned her husband. But that's literally just the storyline that I want to go for because again I find the original fairy tale of Snow White just really bizarre and I want to just have it sort of fit in with Gan Albashar a little bit better so I make my own storyline of it. So now the evil queen is the vizier and it also just makes me think like the evil queen is maybe like a title that Snow White has given her stepmother because it just feels, well that's mostly the case, that history is written by the victors. In this version of the story, it's actually evil Snow White. Then the queen actually ended the war and there's still like the, of course, ravaging when it comes to like ruins because yeah, having a watchtower that's owners or property of the sultan so close to the castle does show that the well Snow White's father wasn't winning the war that he was basically just pushed back to his own little castle and his own little island let's just say Snow White evil evil queen somewhat good in Khan al -Bashar, and is now the vizier yeah so that's basically the storyline that I wanted to go for but a lot of the building of the actual ruin was a little bit like first of course building it completely so you could see how it somewhat looked. I didn't build the top of it because I wasn't planning to have like a actual roof to it. But then afterwards I just kind of made holes and tears into the building making it look a little bit like it was well aligned with like well catapult or cannon fire coming from the queen's castle. So that was actually fun to build and if you have seen traditional Turkish architecture you might recognize this building. So as I said in I think the last episode or the episode before that but I want to have a little bit more Turkish influence to Kean al as well because well the inspiration points for the royal palace were Topkapi Palace and the Alhambra but I've went for a lot more of like Alhambra vibes. But I still want that Turkish vibe as well. And so I looked up traditional Turkish architecture or traditional Ottoman architecture. I don't know which one of the two terms is the correct one. So I'm just going to say traditional Turkish slash Ottoman architecture. But you will find these buildings. I actually have it written down. I don't know which one of the two it is because I've written down two names. And well, let's just say... I looked them up once and then I kind of, well, I just switched the names so many times in my head that I don't know which one of the two it is, but either Safran Bolu or I actually have to reach up now because it's a little bit too far away for me to actually read it. Either it's Safran Bolu or I'm going to butcher this name. I think I already butchered the first name, but Orta Hishar. I think Orta Hishar is that village where town that's built into a mountain. I mean that the Kaya village is complete a mix of the two. But yeah I think actually that this building is in Safran Bolu. But I think if you just look up traditional Turkish or Ottoman architecture you will probably find the building that I used as a reference. And I just really like that I could use a lot of like timber framing in this build because I for some reason love having timber frame. I mean it makes the buildings a lot more interesting and I well it has a little bit of a more medieval vibe going on or medieval it just has an older vibe I would say because timber framing for some reason just makes me think of medieval buildings I mean I think the stereotype of medieval buildings is like the timber frame so I kind of get where I got that from but I actually made this building into a bakery so that was actually interesting because of course I want to make those things visible so I can say that it's a bakery but you can also see that it's a bakery 
and um, yeah let's just say trying to find the things to make into loaves well not loaves but into bread kind of difficult <laughs> because of course planet 2 isn't meant to be that kind of realism but in the end i did find out some pieces that i could use and then of course having some like sacks of flour there because this baker isn't the one that actually mills his flour himself or he does and he also sells that because you might want to bake your own bread so it's just a whole lot of like this is a bakery don't get it wrong but that's actually the last thing that i built on screen because there's a lot to this village that i had to build off screen and the annoying thing about building a village with actual shops into a mountain is yeah making it fit but anyway that's going to be it for the speed build i'm going to go into a tour just wandering about a little bit hopefully not longer than five minutes hopefully probably are still going to end up with 10 minutes but anyway let's go into that tour so we're back showing what I did so far because I promised that today I was going to show what I have done with the Queen's Castle and how of course Kaya Village has turned out. So we have of course the Queen's Castle to the left, Kaya Village to the right and the ruined watchtower here. There's also a Jaguar breathing in my neck so that's of course amazing because oh yeah. Let's just uh, move forward so that I don't hear the jaguar breathing in my neck an anymore. But this is basically the road to the Queen's Castle. For now it's sort of a dead end, but I do aim to change that. But of course the Queen's Castle has a beautiful drawbridge, a little bit of a portcullis because it was built to be completely defensible. And then when you enter the Queen's Castle, well, of course, the first thing you see is, well, besides the massive entrance into the actual castle building or the keep, there's, of course, the, well, balcony with the, well, let's just say famous window of the evil queen. So you will find features that are reminiscent of the actual fairy tale or the Disney fairy tale. I mean, we have the wishing well here, the door that she runs into when she flees from Prince whatever his name is. And then we have Snow White's quarters. Also I just have to point out how good the sun looks from this area. Like I love that I have that this area is kind of like a little bit lower just so that the sun goes in a little bit better. But Snow White's quarters which going with the storyline that I've made for Snow White in Kaya Bashar, are empty because she's dead in Kaya Bashar. Yeah, another video where that has come into the picture, but that's basically every video so far. But it's kind of fitting that Snow White's cores are actually somewhat situated in the servant area for the castle. Because I imagine that this is like the washery and somewhere along here is like the kitchen of the castle. So it's kind of fitting that Snow White is in between those two areas. Or basically just in the servants area for the castle. And then because I forgot to actually point out the Chinese pangolin habitat in the last video. So they have complete access. I can't get into it from here for some reason. Let's see if I can. Yep, we're glitching through everything. But they do have access to this area and you can see how. Because Chinese pangolins are burrow animals. Or at least from what I've researched they are. I think we see or I see one there but they can use these burrows also some trees are sticking through because I still need to fix some things with the well Queen's Castle no it's actually not a Chinese pangolin it was just a piece of straw but they can't get through here so I really for a second like there was like a sun glare and I thought it was them ah there's one of them oh he's rolling around Oh, there's, I stepped on you. Yeah, that's why I literally m mistook them for hay because they are really tiny. But they are really able to get through there. And they are actually, well, going back up because this is most of their habitat. There's a little bit of an area for their habitat also there. 
where like a little bit of a grain field or like an immature grain field because it doesn't have that golden well stereotypical grain look but that's also a bit of their habitat because of course the keepers need to get into their habitat and they can't get in via the queen's castle but yeah they're just now well oh, one of them is digging so yes they are a little bit burrow animals but uh, i need to get up there again but oh no i'm hearing birding sounds in canada chat birding sounds are not good so uh i think one of the animals is going crazy again probably the lions but anyway they can't actually get up completely to this door because i used the same technique with the stairs as i've used for i think every stair in canada Machado so far which is basically use the potting as the way to build stairs which makes them usable by so far every animal that i've built them for or built them in so going into Kaya village, well, the watchtower is actually accurate because again, like if you line it up, the, well, this is the space or the area of entrance for like a cannon bar or a, some kind of catapult fire. And then on the other side, it's lower because of course, well, catapult or cannon fire comes in at an angle. So it actually works that there was like some kind of battle between the Queen's Castle and, well, this watchtower that is from the Sultan. So we're getting closer to the actual cast or palace of the Sultan. Because this floating air island is going to have the Sultan's Castle. And I did say that so far Kaya Village is a little bit, or the Queen's Castle is a little bit of a dead end. The Queen's Castle will stay a dead end, but Kaya Village, as you can see, is going to be connected up to the royal palace but yeah the evil father of snow white had a bit of a war with the sultan of ken al -Bashar. lost that war but because the watchtower wasn't useful anymore it was left to be overgrown but the queen's castle of course is still used by the vizier as i'm going to call her from now on because she isn't the queen in ken al -Bashar. she's the vizier but now going into Kaya Village, we have a little bit of a gate to get to, basically just an archway. And actually to point it out, I am going to try to keep this video short, but there's just so much I want to point out. But you can kind of see that, yes, Kaya Bashar is definitely color-coded, because this is like red-ish. And then you look at the dirt and it's red-ish, so definitely not a rich man's house, because he couldn't even afford to get proper quality clay for his building or his home but yeah you will see that i mean this is a toilet building and it's also red ish so not a wealthy man's house and it's fitting that it is a toilet building and there's an actual toilet attached to it because that hasn't been a thing so far in canal bashara but this is basically a toilet so it's very easy you don't need plumbing or so just have an overhanging shed and just boop and it's all the way down there and then we have some more wealthy buildings you can't really see it well well from here you can see it but greenish well green then a complete red building and what sets it apart from the reddish building is that it is red so yeah there's a difference in can between red buildings and reddish also you can see that well from this you can't really see it but the actual mountain isn't that lush, but then if you go up to the plateau that the tower sits upon, one of the animals is escaping because I hear the alarm bells, but we are just going to move on. There are, there are a lot of things that somehow end up going wrong with the animals during these tours. But you can see that the plateau is actually very lush, but then the village itself isn't. I mean, it needs an actual well to survive. Because... Yeah, there's not a lot of water in, in the actual mountains, but then when you look at the floating islands, they are lush. And also, yes, this floating island isn't done yet. I'm going to do that in Friday's video, because Friday's video, the building isn't going to be the most important thing, because I think I said this already, but there's a poll right now on the community tab that is going to be the topic of Friday's video. So no creation renovation, more Ken al -Bashar. But there's a lot of buildings that I didn't do on screen. I mean, the toilet building. Also, quickly to explain this, but 
This is basically for ventilation. So there's like wet clots actually hanging in this tower. This is probably supposed to be more the size of a chimney, but I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, so... Yeah, the toilet building is at least well ventilated. And it's probably a lot cooler than all the other buildings in Ken Arbashar. But yeah, I really just like it as well. There's like plants going through it, so it's not really well kept, but it is the main source of water in Kaya village. Because... The mountains in Kayan al don't hold a lot of water, but the plateaus and the islands do. Then just going up into this bridge because, well, auto save, but this orchard isn't completely done yet. Also, I said I wanted to keep this tour short, but there's just so much that I want to point out that it's going to be long. But here you can see another red building and two. Well, this has a white trim, but this traditional Turkish slash Ottoman house is completely white plaster so that's also i would say i think a more expensive building than um, well definitely more than the red ish building so canal is definitely color coded you can see at the just the colors on the walls what building is supposed to be a bit wealthier and what is just complete poor well not complete i think this isn't i think this is like higher lower class or upper lower class and this is just middle upper middle class and there's a bakery but that's basically going to be it actually so yeah there's a lot that I wanted to show and so that's why this tour is again 10 minutes and there's a lot of things that happened I need to check up on the lions because they are probably going crazy I hear another alarm bell so yeah whenever I do these tours it's just a signal to the animals from do the weirdest thing possible but that's going to be it, so Friday's video, no creation renovation, going to be building again on Bashar again. But the building isn't going to be the main focus, so I'm just going to do little things. Maybe fix up the castle with, well, windows on the towers. And probably just fix up this area, so that connects again to the royal palace of Bashar. And then Sunday's video, we might actually start on the actual palace. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to head out now because I hear screaming capuchin monkeys and I'm already getting annoyed so I wish you well let's just do the normal outro so I hope you enjoyed the video if you do don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because it does help out a lot you might also want to hit that bell button even though I think nowadays it doesn't really do anything but you know it might be fun to hit it and I just wish all of you an amazing day Hope all of you stay safe, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.